Madam Weri? Madam Weri, you present? Okay. Madam, you can hear me? Oh, yeah. Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. You can go ahead. Yeah. Yes. Now, uh, mm -hmm. I wanted to... So today is our first meeting. This is our first meeting. So these are the topics that you're going to cover during this session of bonding, electromagnetic spectrum. After electromagnetic spectrum, you will cover cathode rays. After cathode rays, you're going to cover X-rays. And then photoelectric effect, those four topics. In case there'll be still time remaining, and then we will move on to another topic. But those four topics are what we're going to cover during this bonding list, uh, uh, sessions. And the first topic we're going to do today is electromagnetic spectrum. When you went home for the holidays, you were given an holiday assignment. Ensure that you have it because you're going to use it. Ensure that you have your copy with you as we continue with the lesson, because later on we're going to use it. And therefore, we start today with the electromagnetic spectrum, and I'm going to share on what we are going to cover. So I'm looking at this moment, let me share what you're going to cover. And you tell me when, if you're able to see what I'm sharing. Huh? Yes. Yes, we can. You can see, eh? Yes, a moment, I can't see on my side. You, you can see now? Yes, 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 we can. Okay, so we are starting on electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, those are the objectives. By the end of the topic, it's a short topic, so we will be able to finish it today. Those are the objectives. Describe complete electromagnetic spectrum. State the properties of electromagnetic waves. Describe methods of detecting electromagnetic radiations. And then there are a few numericals we might solve. Then we move on to the next part. The content that we are bound to cover. We look at the electromagnetic spectrum, properties of electromagnetic waves. Detection, that is how you can detect electromagnetic waves, applications of electromagnetic waves, and then solving. So next, the introduction. Now, electromagnet, yeah, it's a range of several waves. I don't know whether you have your book four with you. There are waves of different frequencies or different wavelengths. As you can see, we are mentioning electro, uh, well, um, photoelectric effect there. Just forget about that for now. I move on to electromagnetic spectrum. What is electromagnetic spectrum? It, this is an arrangement of electromagnetic waves according to either their frequencies or wavelength. And the arrangement normally it is either in a decreasing order or an increasing order. Whether you are arranging them in using the frequencies or arranging them using the wavelength, you will always have that arrangement, whether it is, uh, that is the either increasing order or decreasing order. Now, electromagnetic waves are transverse in nature. And going back to your form two, you should be able to be able to define a transverse wave. 
So here we are saying that uh, there are transverse waves which results from oscillating electric and magnetic fields. Oscillating electric and magnetic fields at right angles to each other. Now examples of electromagnetic waves are there. We have visible light, X-rays, UV, infrared, gamma rays, we have X-rays, all that we're going to have them. So they form an electric magnetic spectrum. Their wavelength range is between what is there, one times 10 raised to six meters, one times 10 raised to negative 14 meters. And as you come back, please ensure that um, your notes, you make your notes on what has been covered during this period. I have a diagram there showing part of the, so part of that, uh, let me show. So you can there be having radio wave, infrared, Ultra, there is, in, there is visible spectrum in between infrared and UV, X-rays, gamma rays. Uh, let me show the other one. There. Uh, I think this one is much fun. We have the radio. Radio waves. Microwaves, infrared, visible light, UV, X rays, and gamma rays. Still moving on. Still, I'm just still just showing the arrangement. So in this case, you can see there's an arrow there up there indicating energy increases in that direction. You can see on one extreme end, we're having waves with short wavelength, and the other extreme, we're having waves with longer wavelength. But at the same time, looking at the lower part of that chart, you can see we're having waves, longer wavelength goes with the low frequency. Shorter wavelength goes with the high frequency, meaning that the waves with the shorter wavelength have got high frequency, while waves with longer wavelength have got low frequency. It's very important for you to master the arrangement of these waves in that order. And I indicated you are, you are, in, you are, you ensure that you have the waves in either increasing wavelength or decreasing wavelength or frequency so that uh, you are, in case you're required to state them you do not have a problem with that so that arrangement is important so of the spectrum and i think uh, the charts are showing clearly let me just take you back you can see the arrangement you can see the frequency is indicated there and the wavelength is also indicated there. We have one on the, I don't know how, okay. Let me, on one stream end, we're having low wavelength and one high wavelength frequency, the same we have indicated there. So I move on to the next part, properties of electromagnetic waves. Properties of the electromagnetic waves. Ensure that at least you know two of the properties. Nobody is going to require you to have all of them, but at least know two of them, two wavelength uh, properties for you to be able, in an exam situation, you are able to answer the questions. Now, the first property is that they are transverse in nature. I'm not going to go into you defining what a transverse wave is because that is something which has already been covered in form two. They do not require medium of transmission. Now, if we go back again to form one work, when you are looking at modes of heat transfer, 
when we are looking at radiation as one of the mode of heat transfer, we normally indicate that uh, for, radia for radiation, a media, no medium is required. Or sometimes at your level now, you should be able to say that um, the tra heat transfer by radiation is by electromagnetic waves. So that is the second property. They do not require medium for transmission. They travel in space, that is, they will travel at the speed of light. They are not charged. That is why they will not be affected by electric or magnetic fields. Now, in form three, you covered, you have already covered waves, properties of waves. And therefore we are saying that they undergo interference, reflection, diffraction, refraction, and polarization, which are properties of a wave. The next one, they possess energy. And hence the equation, energy is equals to Planck's constant times frequency. Later on, we're going to use that formula, but that is a very important formula. Energy is equals to Planck's constant times the frequency. Planck's constant is normally a constant that you given, and it is a 6.63 .6 times 10 is negative 34 joule second. And then they also obey the wave equation where velocity of light is equals to frequency times wavelength. Any question up to that point? Oh, let me see you. Somebody has written a chat here. Let me see what is the person is saying. Okay, if you have the books, well and good, please refer to them. Uh, there is a karaoke who has raised his hand. Yes, karaoke. And identify with your class, please, eh? so that I can be able to know. Karaoke. Somebody's hand was up. Okay, that means there's no problem. I move on to the next part. Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Production and detection of electromagnetic waves. Now, when you're making your notes, please combine, draw a table like that. I know in your textbook, they are not, uh, I don't know whether it is written in this order. Ensure that you so that you are able to identify a wave, how it is produced, detection, and if possible, the uses of that wave. Have a table that will make your revision work easier. So that when you are having you are revising, you just glance through everything at the same time. So let's start with radio waves. You can see radio waves. Ah, they produced. The production is by oscillating electric circuits. I can see somebody trying to, I don't know, I hope the person. Uh, uh. I don't know whether this is my student. Is karaoke my, my student or? Clinton Odero. Hmm. Now, let me go to, let me continue. I don't want, let me not, for now, let me not. Radio waves, oscillating electric, they are produced by elect, oscillating electric circuits and transmitted through aerials or antenna. And then how do you detect them? Diodes or earphones? I mean, radio is something we, we always use the radio once in a while. Uh, so you always, you can detect it by earphones. Microwaves, production is there, indicated there. Special vacuum tubes, 
called magetrons. Uh, detection, we use dry crystal detectors or solids, state diodes. Infrared radiations, the sun. Or when you have a warm body, when you are warming yourself around a GECO, that is the infrared radiation. Any, any warm body or hot body will always produce infrared radiations. And uh, then how do you detect that? Uh, the heating effect produced, you will feel warm. Your skin will feel warm. Or we have the thermal pile. We have a bolometer. We have a thermometer which has got uh, a blackened bulb. Now, kindly, pay attention to the production and the detection of those waves. Visible light, production, the sun, or any other source of object, of uh, objects, lamps, laser beam. Uh, detection is, is the eye, photographic film, photo cell. So those are the four, and then we move on to the next ones. UV. Production is by the sun, sparks, mercury vapor, due to large energy changes in the electrons of an atom. Remember from your chemistry, electrons, when electrons are lost, or gained, definitely there's energy change. Again, at the same time, when N, in physics, we talk about when N electrons move, either drop to a lower energy level or move to higher energy level, there will be change, energy change there. So we are talking about that. So detection, photographic films, photo cells, fluorescent materials. When you smear a paper slightly with Vaseline, you'll be able to detect UV. X-rays, uh, when fast moving electrons, when fast moving electrons are suddenly stopped by a target, that is the production, that is how X-rays are produced. And detection, you use a fluorescent screen or a photographic film. And lastly, gamma rays, uh, radioactive substances produce gamma rays. Later on, when you're going to cover radioactivity, you'll be able to see that. How are they detected? Photographic plates or radiation detectors. So those are how the waves, the electromagnetic waves are produced. And how detected. Up to that point, any question? No questions. Therefore, we move on. Uh, keep Korea, yes. Yes, madam. I'm asking the that the photographic film is done. We talked about in form one. Photographic film. Yeah. Yes, the normal. Uh, yeah, the one we use for cameras. Yes, the one we. Although nowadays I know we have digital cameras, but uh, I uh, we have you uh, the film which is made from uh, in chemistry. They talk about silver. Silver what? Yes. The, yes, the one we talked about in Form 1, that is the one, the photographic film. Okay. Thank the one for printing photos, yes. Okay? Yes, thank you. Okay. Applications. Now, remember, I said, combine your table. Remember the table for production, detection, Include another column for the users. That will make your work easier. You will be able to detect, to read. So looking at applications 
of electromagnetic waves. We have the type there. The property here is that it has got high frequency, high energy, that is the gamma rays, uses in the medicine to kill cancerous tissues, sterilizing medical equipment, and also killing pests. X-rays, uh, if somebody has got a fracture, you'll, go, you'll always be sent for an X-ray. Detection of forgeries in art, in uh, industries where they manufacture, for example, um, iron sheets, they'll use these to detect if they have the, the production, the materials that have been produced have got flaws so that they give their, the clients or the customers do not get damaged goods. UV radiations, supply uses vitamin D. That is why we warm ourselves in the sun or babies, uh, doctors will always uh, uh, advise um, mothers to take their sons out for sons or babies, no, babies, for this, to, the, to warm themselves in the sun for pro, so that they do not have a deficiency of vitamin D. Treatment of skin cancer, analysis and detecting forgeries, visible light. The first thing is we are able to see due to visible light that they use. Fiber optics, photography, all that is listed there. The next one we have infrared used for cooking, heating, drying, x-rays. I think I've repeated that one. TV waves, I'll go with, I'll combine with them with radio waves. Communication, yes. Now, diffraction of TV uh, radio waves, large wavelengths, low frequency radio waves are easily diffracted. They are also easily detected by receivers in deep valleys and behind hills. Radio waves are low of low wavelength of longer wavelength amplitude are reflected easily, while the shorter wavelength waves, that is FM, frequency modulation, are transmitted over short distances and received directly. From the transmit nowadays, uh, I think we don't even use nowadays IM, um, AM. We mostly the radios are using. In form one, you covered greenhouse effect. Uh, where we all know the waves are coming in. They, are, they get trapped, hence, but in this case now, the one we are looking at is why the earth is becoming warmer and warmer each day. And we can see what it has done to the climate due to what the activities, the human activities as is what is destroying the earth in terms of the ozone layer being destroyed. They, they, The gases accumulate on the ozone layer, destroying the ozone layer. When the rays of the sun come in, they are not able, they, they are supposed to go back, but they do not go back. They get trapped by what we are, uh, what we are releasing into. The atmosphere, that is the CFs, get tra uh, the trap so that has caused now i can see somebody here saying please uh, please go back to the previous slide please return the previous table uh 
maybe. Uh, so after that point, I have been able to take you through electromagnetic waves. I don't know whether that is what the person wants. We have gone through the electromagnetic spectrum as a topic. It's a short topic, but highly tested. And a lot can be tested from that, a lot. The person was saying, I go back. Is that called, is that what the who was that? Timothy. And there is also Brian. Yes, we are good. You are good, eh? Hey, uh, Charles Mburu, what are you saying? I do what? Uh, you send the notes to the class teachers. For what do you mean I send the notes? Make your notes, young man. Hmm? Hmm, I send. Now, so after that point, we have gone through the, unless there is a question, uh, who is this? Somebody has raised his hand. There was somebody who was raising his hand. Okay, since there. So can we go to our assignment? Are we? I said you needed to have your assignment, your old day assignment. Do you have your old day assignment? Yes. I, I indicated that you get your all the assignment because each one of us was given an assignment. I want us to, to try and answer a few questions there from what we have learned, unless somebody has got a question. And uh, the first question indicates name two properties common to all electromagnetic waves. Underline the word common common to all, yes. I want to believe you can get the answer from that. Name two properties common to all electromagnetic waves. Any of those would do. State two properties which differentiate electromagnetic waves from each other. Uh, you need that one, you need to have a, to think a bit. Name two properties of UV light. I will, I'm interested in question <coughs> eight. Can we go to question eight where I've been told to complete the table by stating the different types of my electromagnetic waves. You have been given the uses but you're supposed to indicate which type of wave. For example, sending information to and fro satellites emitted by remote control unit, production, producing shadow pictures of bones. I want to believe from what we have covered, we can be able to identify which radiation is used there. Look at number nine. Look at question nine. Name the radiation represented by A. That is a radiation between the visible light. So I will take you again. Let me take you to that chart. We have the radiation between the visible light and X-rays. From that table, you can be able to identify the radiation between the visible light and the X-ray. Okay. Uh, yes? Somebody is talking? 
There is number 10. The figure shows a table of electromagnetic spectrum in the increasing order of wavelength. Identify the radiation marked P and Q. We have X-rays. Before X-rays, which, which radiation is there? And then there is, and then there is, yes. And then there is, after X-rays, what do we have? And then after, what is Q? You are able to identify Q. So, as I said earlier, this is a very easy topic. It's not complicated. It is straightforward. All you need to do is uh, go through the questions, answer what you can, not what you can, answer everything. Is everything you're supposed to answer? Especially now that we have covered electromagnetic radiation. I wanted to look at. Um, Let's go to question 15. If you go to question 15, it's talked about arrange the following radiations in order of increasing wavelength. Arrange the following radiations in the order of increasing wavelength. You have been given UV, gamma, radio, and infrared, and you're being told to arrange them in a certain order. That is the order where they are increasing wavelength. Their wavelength is increasing. The next question still talks uh, is, is talking is still about arranging the wave, arrange the following in the order of increasing wavelength. Ah, frequency, not wavelength, frequency. Remember the red, green, yellow, blue fall under the visible light. Look at that spectrum on the on the, your screen. I want to believe you can see the spectrum. So you're being told to arrange them in terms of the increasing frequency. That is important. So there are those details that you have to go through, not just looking at. If you look at question 19, if you are still having your arrange, you're supposed to arrange the following radiations in order of increasing wavelength. We have gamma rays, we have purple light, UV radiation, and infrared. One thing you need to understand there that purple light there falls under what? Purple light falls under what? Visible light. Light. Yes, visible light. So in other words, they are telling you to arrange the visible light. So ensure that uh, try and go through those questions. App and applications and detection. We have been told to give three uses of infrared. There's a table there giving you the type of radiation, how it is detected, and then the uses. That is why earlier on I said, try and make a table of your, in when you're making your notes, make your table in such a way that you are able to look at things uh, once. That is the type of the wave, how it is detected, um, no, the production, detection, and the use. Have a table, that will make your work very easy. Now, but I want to, what I'm interested in, remember under the properties, let me go back to the properties. There's something I need to emphasize there. Property number six, they possess energy in different amounts. And there's that equation, E is equals to Planck's constant times frequency. Later on, when you're going to look at uh, cathode rays and look at X-rays, you're going to uh, come up with more equations. But for now, using that equation, can we work out 
let's go to question 18. Not 18, question 17, 18, 19, and possibly question 20. Can we try those questions? And then you give me the answers. I can't see, I know I can't see your work, but uh, ensure that you try for your own good. And also you are trying to apply the equation E is equals to HF. Anybody with an answer for question 17? You type it on the chat, sir. Eh? I want to see more answers, please. I hope you're in class. Huh? Uh, question 17 for Brian Nganga. 17, we are looking at, uh, you are calculating the wavelength. I don't know what, what you are doing. You answered this, doesn't seem to be for question 17. I'm talking about question 17. Calculate the wavelength of KBC FM radio waves transmitted at a frequency of a frequency of uh, 95.6 megahertz. Thank you. 
I'm waiting for answers, young men. When you're posting your answer, kindly indicate for which question. Remember, you're doing question 17, 18, 19, and 20. And I need to see more active. I, cannot, I can see in the 191 people here, and all the answers I've received are around four.
Remember the speed, we are using the speed of light. I just wanted to look at you.
Meanwhile, you can just take a roll call. Look at your screen. Something's shared. Take a roll call. A quick one. Take a roll call. Pick your class. Submit. Yes, Levis, keep going. Yeah, my question is in this question for C is equals to frequency wavelength. Is C the same as speed? Because speed is found using the same formula. Yes, yes. Uh, speed of light is normally represented by C, speed of light. Okay. Yes. Uh, I've only seen a few answers. I'm waiting for more people, giving people time to do to try. I hope people are trying before I give out the answers. I can see there are those who have given me answers. Uh, they are correct. Those who have given me on the chat, your answers are correct. <laughs> Question 19. Elvin Jeru, that's correct. Jonathan Moore, I don't know which uh, which question are you answering?
That answer is for which? Oh. Somebody is saying he can't see the screen. Who is that? My screen. Uh, who is this? Uh, OM. OM is Oscar Mao. That's cor correct. Yes, those are th the three questions. Where is there? There is one more remaining. Somebody, who is this? Let me just scroll up. Elvis Njeru, uh, oh, is that the answer for question 17? Uh, Derek, we know but that answer is for which question? And I think there's no uh, question we should give us at that answer. Elvis Njeru. If that is your answer for question 17, there's something wrong with it. Go back again. We need to consider the mega hearts. You need to change the mega hearts to hearts. Mega is for how many? It is 10 raised to how many for the power? You have to work out in hearts, not mega hearts. <laughs> Liban, yes, that's correct. But for which question? By the way, I'm saying correct. For which question? The wrong indicated question. Bran Yakundi, that's correct.
Uh, I guess uh, Griffin, which that is for which question? Question is that we, your answer is for which question? The same thing with the Liban. That that is for question what? That answer. I said indicate your the answer when you're giving a question. An answer indicate the question. Uh, Jonathan Moore, question eighteen. That is correct. Huh? No, the power is wrong. Check on your power. I don't know how you are, you are calculating your power. Jonathan Moore, your power is wrong. How do you calculate that power? Oh. I guess I have said it for question 17. That's correct. There is YM. I can't, I don't know who is YM. Question 19, no, why am check again? Question now that answer for question 19, check again. Uh, I guess a Griffin, I don't know what you mean by 0 0.99. There is Isaac Mogire also has given an answer here. I said, did I write the question? Jackson Gugi, I think that, let me see, one, two, three. That's correct. Jackson, is it Jackson Gugi? Yes. That's correct. Isaac Mogire, I don't know that answer is for which question? Jackson Mogire, no, that if it's for question 19, no, it is wrong. Go back again. Remember, we are using the equations, the equations we are using. Uh, on Songo. We are not using the screen. I don't know why you're saying you're using the screen. We are using the old assignment we went with home. There was an old assignment which was given. That is where we are getting the questions from. I, when we started, I said, ensure that you have your assignments with you. We are using the questions from the assignment. On my screen is just the notes which are there. So I don't know whether you want to see the notes.
Emmanuel Duo, question 17. I don't think that's the answer. Question Elvin Jeru, question 20, that's correct. Your answer is correct, that is. Uh, Isaac. Uh, they should be power. It can't just be what you have written there. Mm -hmm. It is raised for certain power, so go back and check. Uh, Brandon Songo, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Question 19, that's not the answer. There is, it seems in your money, in, my, in your working, you let the, it's supposed to be power eight. Question uh, 20 is correct. For you, that is. <laughs> Mogire, I've said, I've said you go back. It's supposed to be raised to a certain power. Uh, question 18 for Mo is it Mohammed? That's correct. Mogire, that is correct now. Uh, now, let me give the answers so that uh, we can move on to something else. Not something else, we are just about to conclude the lesson. 
Uh, question 17, your answer should be around 3.1, is it 38 meters? Question 18 is 1.0 something times 10 raised to negative six. Uh, 19 is 3.00 with certain values times 10 raised to eight meters per second. And question 20 is 5.9 times 10 raised to negative seven meters. Now, uh, maybe let me, I, I want to uh, indicate something here. I, I hope everybody will be able to see. Yes, a moment. Now, remember our equation, the equations that you are to use for those three, are they three questions or four? There are three, there are four questions. Uh, you are to use this equation. The point that you would use that one. And there, there, there are a point where you are to use this one. The C stands for velocity. Velocity for light is normally represented using C. And then this equation, especially where you are being told you have been given energy, you could uh, change, make, uh, use this equation here, where you make F the subject. If I make F the subject, uh, just a moment, I don't want it to vanish. So, C Now, these two equations are very important. You will manipulate them. Make for this one if you make F the subject, it becomes uh C over lambda or if you make lambda the subject it becomes c over frequency and therefore there you are able to work out your um, wavelength so the two equations are important as i said earlier we will end up uh, at one point when we move on to cathode rays and when you move on to x-rays more equations mm -hmm. are going to come in but you sometimes you need to combine the the several equations or what I need to remember your equations and this. And therefore I'm going back to the starting point where we started our notes. That is the objectives. I'm interested in the objectives. Mm -hmm. The objectives were to describe the complete electromagnetic spectrum. I will have been able to show you that. The, another obje the next objective was to state the properties mm -hmm. of electromagnetic waves, which we have done. Then we have gone ahead detecting electromagnetic waves. We have also done that. And we have also solved uh, numerical problems involving the equation C is equals to lambda times F and also energy is equals to Planck's constant times the frequency. Um, I'll still remind you or I'll still emphasize kindly, ensure that you go through as you make your notes. Make your notes and go through. That is, um, I want to believe that brings us to the end of our lesson today. Unless somebody has got a question. Uh, Madam Weary, Madam Weary yes. you could kindly reshow slide the three, four, and five so that we just take photos so that we make our own notes. Oh, the part, the whatever of the notes, eh? Yeah, the slides so that we can take a screenshot. Okay, so I have the objectives there. I move on. The contents, definitely that one. Then we have uh, the introduction, that one, just leave that one out. We have there, the, introdu the main introduction is there, electromagnetic, what electromagnetic spectrum entails. 
Then we have this, the arrangement of the electromagnetic spectrum, showing clearly the visible spectrum. There we have it in terms of wavelength increasing or decreasing and the frequency. Then I have it there still, the electromagnetic spectrum, still comparing the wavelength and the frequency. I move on to the properties of electromagnetic waves. And as I emphasize with the properties, at least no two, it's good. But no, these are the common properties for all the waves there. Those are the common properties. Then we have that table. I said add another column for the uses so that when you're looking at it, you're looking at it once for all the waves. Still the table on production and detection. Applications, that is the uses. Again, I said combine the tables. Still the same thing. Yes. And then we have diffraction of TV and radio mm -hmm. waves. We have microwaves. Uh, that's not uh, why I did not. That is not that serious. They are ground house mm -hmm. effect. Hazards, yes, I needed to talk about hazards of electromagnetic waves. Not all of them. We have the UV, gamma, and X rays. The hazards, they damage cells, skin burns, which can lead to skin cancer. Minimizing the hazards. It's indicated there. Reduce the dosage. Yes, I think that is all. Whoever was asking for me to. Yes, yes, it's fine. Thank you, madam. Yes. Okay. So I can we, I can call it a day for the, the end of the lesson, and I wish you well. Thank the lesson you, was good. Thank you, madam. Yo, yo.